Hello everyone and welcome to this week's garden tour. If you're new here, my name is Mari and I have an urban garden in Queens, New York City. I have this little backyard here where I'm trying to grow mostly vegetables and also a plot garden that is a little bit bigger right down the block from me. This is the time of the year where things are finally starting to pick up. So it's the first week of June. The garden is starting to grow really fast. We had a lot of rain last week, which is great. And we're not that far from the summer solstice. So the days are getting longer and longer. And the garden is starting to get wild, which I love. There's a lot of work to be done. I have already pruned the tomatoes a few times. And we even have our first tomatoes already. I'm very excited about that. We did our first harvest of peas this week too. And here in the raised bed I have also already cut some flowers. I wanted to keep cutting them so I can encourage them to keep producing. The tomatoes has really grown a lot since last week and they have tons of flowers. This one here in particular, the Black Beauty, it's full of really big clusters of flowers which I am very very excited about. And we already have some little tomatoes over there. Look at that. So far this was the first one to produce on this bed. The other ones have some flowers too, but I don't see any baby tomatoes yet. Not on this side. The peppers here starting to grow, not growing too fast. The jalapeno is doing better than the others. And the straw flower just opened and it's really cute. I never grew a straw flower before and I love, love how papery and dry almost feels like it's pretty cool that plant here is starting to get look more green it was kind of yellowish before which i'm very happy about starting to pick up everyone here in the edge is doing really good too the calendula is full of bloom so that will get all nice and bright orange soon and we have this zinnia here that's starting to open in this beautiful coral one here and another one about to open over here in the side so it's going to be looking nice really soon the kale is doing good growing back very nicely this celery i have to harvest because it's going to seed you see some that stock there this is a chinese pink celery but kind of turned out more to be a whitish color so i'm gonna harvest this week and see how it tastes like i never had it before so i'm excited to try i cut back the peony i don't know if it was a good thing or not but i wanted to give more space into this raised bed the flowers are already done and the tomatoes are back there look at them they're already getting all the way up to here they're growing so fast I'm very excited and that sunflower back there it's about to pass the fence which is really cool this tomato here also looking really nice I have to prune it I think I missed the sucker in there it's looking a bit fuller than the others and this piece in here are looking very nice I have a lot of them and the eggplant here in this pot is doing the best of all of my eggplants this is a patio baby eggplant I grew last year, I really liked it, it was, it was in a smaller pot and it was very prolific and it is already looking really good so let's see how much eggplant I can take from this little plant this year and we're gonna move to the potted area here which is looking good, it's growing quite fast I have all the cherry tomatoes in there some of them already have fruit this atomic grape here, it's already getting really big but I was looking through my garden tours last year and by this time I also had a tomato grape too so that's good cool to know they're probably an early variety good thing to remember for the next seasons and here we have some more cherry tomatoes too this is a black strawberry tomato I have some more peas in here I haven't harvested these purple ones yet but they'll be ready to harvest soon this is from Roll 7 Seeds and they recommend that you wait until the peas swell a little bit inside even though this is no pea variety for maximum flavor so I'm gonna wait for that I planted this last year in the fall and they were delicious and they keep their color actually them with this purple when they're cooked I really really love this we have our squashes down here they're growing so much faster than the ones in the plot even though they were planted after so that's very interesting I have the another eggplant here that's also doing really good doing just as good as that one that one's just a little bit bigger and some peppers this is it overwintered and this is the Malagueta Brazilian pepper it's growing really nice and fast there are two plants 
on this one gallon pot here. It's supposed to be a smaller variety, but they're looking really good. They're producing lots of peppers already, and I started this from seed this year. The tomato, squeezed tomatoes back there for space are looking pretty good. The bell pepper here is also starting to set some blooms. It's growing nicely. It is overwintered, as I mentioned in the other garden tours. This cucumber here, someone has been coming out here and digging. I don't like to see that, it's probably a squirrel. It's finally starting to grow a little bit. This is a silver slicer cucumber. I put this thing here from my greenhouse and assembled and kind of made some trails to help it growing to that side, not over the tomatoes. The green stalks are looking nice and full. Still have some planting to do, some switching I have to do. I took out some of the bolted stuff that were up here and I planted this rosemary instead of the cabbage that was there and then the tatsoi that was here I decided to put that other orange hat tomato that I had extra so now we have three tomatoes here and this nasturtium is blooming and the lavender it is starting to open how pretty is this? it's going to change it's hard to see against that green there but I'm going to harvest this first flush this week to encourage the plant to keep producing more. It's lemon thyme is picking up and looking nice. It smells really, really good too. I'm very glad I got one of those. I trimmed this last week again, so they're looking nice and compact. This mint and this parsley there. The strawberries on this green stalk are now starting to pick up. They are ripening really small. This and the other one there too. I thought they would be a bit bigger, but it's all right. I think it's because the ever-bearing variety is going to have a lot of strawberries but smaller strawberries which is okay, I'm okay with that and this nasturtium here is setting some blooms too that's beautiful, that's a bloody Mary nasturtium and down here we have the orchid cream that I oops that I absolutely love it's so beautiful, it's probably my favorite variety, look at that moving into here before I get to the second green stalk the borage has bloomed with all these little beautiful blue flowers those are edible and they taste kind of resembles of a cucumber I used to use borage when I worked at fine dining restaurants to, to garnish plates and the one thing that it's good to know is usually you have to take the back part of the flower out because it's very fuzzy so if you plan into it this after you harvest you take this part out this over here and you just eat the flour it's actually great for salads and pears really good with light things like fish or seafood or something like this but you can also freeze this into ice cubes to make them from drinks and I can just drop this into drinks too we like we enjoy eating them we harvested a lot of them last year but this year I'm leaving a lot of them on because the bees absolutely love them it's too early in the morning now and the bees are not here yet but this gets full of bees so far my garden board has been the flower that attracted the most amount of bees so this year i tried to leave some of the flowers there instead of harvesting half of ourselves here in this green stock too i haven't got a chance to take this thing out yet this is the purple sprouting broccoli that is not going to sprout because it needs to go through winter to actually set some florets but I'll take that out this week probably then the purple kale is looking good coming out nice and full it has a lot of if it's there hope those ladybug larvae that were hanging out in here go find it to eat soon and here on this side we have beets as I showed last week they're starting to look really nice as of the golden ones and the strawberries and these are all starting to ripen we got oh there's a ladybug larva right there again we got, we already harvested a few, see how many? We have two here, one here, another one here, another one there. I'm gonna come around and harvest after I finish this garden tour. Even though they're very small, they're really sweet, they're really, really good. We really enjoy eating them, but we eat this like in two seconds. We harvest them and just eat everything. And on the back of this planter, let me turn a little bit more. We have the peppers that are coming along nicely, I would say. These beets really starting to swell up there, swell up there, get big. And this bean grew really nicely too from last week to this week. So very exciting. This celery was also supposed to be a pink celery in this white. Fennel here is not growing very fast. I don't know why. The ones in the pot are growing super fast there. We'll see. But that's it for this planter. We will keep harvesting and replanting these pockets through the season now let's check up here how things are looking and we're gonna move on to the plot 
So I like the way it's looking here. I love this piece here right by our door. They were supposed to be all purple, but some of them came out green, which is okay. It looks cool, both of them together. The green ones are almost ready to be harvested. Down here we have radishes that I didn't think was going to do anything because it got hot fast. But look at that, we have some of them forming. There's one there. Oh, there's a big one here. We can probably harvest this in a couple of days. When these peas are done, I'm going to plant some climbing beans in there. The green stock here is looking nice too. We still have lots of lettuce from that one that I forgot. It just keeps producing. Some other things are starting to pick up here too. My cilantro bolted. This is the one from Brazil that was supposed to be heat resistant. I don't know, it didn't work. So I don't really know how this cilantro situation goes. The car alarm just started going off here in the street. So I guess I think that is my cue to move to the plot. But the green stock is still looking nice. I still gotta come around and harvest some other things here. And the beans here are growing well too. And now let's move to the plot so we don't have to listen to that honking noise. Front yard is looking nice. Looks like we already have our first sunflower in there. Let's go around to take a look. We got our first yellow sunflower here. It's definitely a branching variety. You can see the ones, the little shoots on the side. We got some peas here too. Now that I come closer and see. I actually took some time cleaning up the plot yesterday. Pruning and trying to eat everything. We had lots of rain so the weeds just grew back like crazy. But it was good, it was good to spend some time there. I'm excited to go there and see how everything's looking. Things are growing really, really fast there too. I love this morning light. It always gonna get bright when I get here. That's north facing, so we always get light here very early, which I love. I usually start my day by taking care of my backyard at home and then I come here to water and everything and there's always this nice warm sunshine in here and it, that feels really good. <laughs> everything here is looking good. We'll get to that bright side in a little bit later. But these are the potatoes, still looking amazing. I was afraid that it was gonna get sick or something because they're so close together. It's getting a little bit shaded now because of this grapevine and the fig tree. So I was thinking to move them all to that side where the speech branches are now we're gonna take that out this week but we'll see it seems to be liking it here so we'll have to decide that soon here is getting kind of wild as it always does in the back we don't really take care of this much but there's roses and they're looking quite nice i might take some of the flowers home today to dry here on the grapevine someone just taught me something really cool one of my neighbors came here and asked if she could get some grape leaves to make some nomas and then she told me, she taught me how to pick the best ones. She said about this size it's best. You always need to be kind of new growth and can't have any spots on it. So she'll get like this medium size here. That one over here is probably really good too. This one is already too big, she would say. And this is too small, we can wait. But she said that now is the time to pick because when the heat comes, the leaves are not going to be good anymore. So she said I could pick lots of them and freeze it. She even gave me her doma recipe, how she makes hers. She makes about seed 40, 50, then she freezes them and eats through the year. Or she said I could also blanch the leaves for about a minute and then freeze the leaves as well to use it later. That was pretty cool. If I have some time this week, I'll try to pick some leaves there to experiment with this. I never really used fresh grape leaves to make them before, but I'm definitely excited to try. Back to the tour here, let's take a look at this fig tree. It's looking much nicer than last year. I actually took a look at the garden tour about this week last year and this was looking much smaller, so I'm glad that it's doing better this year. It's already full of figs. Those are the green figs. They are everywhere now, which is cool. I tried to come in weeds, so I think it's looking pretty good. I see some more coming up there. But things are starting to finally grow. The cilantro is out flowering, which I think is great because I love this little white flower. It adds a little charm to the bed there. Chamomile is looking good. Oh, look at that. Mushrooms. We've got some mushrooms here, which is great. Mushrooms are great for the health of the soil, so I'm glad they're there. See some more in there too. Calendula is growing nicely. Fever fever is really picking up, and the tomatoes here are doing okay. Those were planted later with my leftovers, so I'm not expecting them to do very good. Here on the flower side, everything is starting to look really good too. The snapdragons are the only ones that are kind of looking behind, but I heard that it can take a really, really long time from seed. But everyone else is kind of starting to grow a little faster now. I love that nasturtium there. By the arch here, we have something 
Very exciting coming up to my dahlia is finally sprouting. So this is the Cafe Aulit. Dahlia, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I was thinking the tuber was not it rot or something because it's taking so long to sprout, which, but I'm very glad it did now. This dahlia here have actually sprouted at home, indoors, and then transferred and already had some green out, but it's, it's looking really good. But that one is just the, the gutterber, and it's my first time doing dahlia, so I was afraid I did something wrong. But apparently, everything worked out, and I'm really happy about it. This cucumber here is starting to grow really fast, too. I see some tendrils here. I'm gonna try to see if I can if we can catch or at least touch that to know to grab on that side the butterfly bees are coming at having a comeback it will seems like the new growth looking unhealthy so let's see if they're gonna flower and look nice this season this kajari melon is looking a little bit damaged by something but it's making a comeback too so hopefully he will take kale here is looking good on this side this dahlia here is really really growing i think it's because it's getting more sun it gets a bit more sun on this side here in the morning because it's building there it's quite tall but a little bit later in the day the whole plot gets sunny too but this got a few hours of extra shade through the day which makes things growing slower around there this flower bed here is looking nice the straw flower here also it's blooming this is a different color is a pink one. Oh, i forgot to show you something there's a cosmos here that also bloomed i saw yesterday and this is a seashells cosmos and look how pretty is it it's already kind of getting spent it bloomed maybe midweek on wednesday or something but it's looking really nice it's much bigger than i thought so i'm excited to see all the other blooms on that plant too there's another one here it came in a mix, in a quite far mix, so I'm not sure if they're going to be the same color, but I'm very excited to find out. Coming back here, you see how this squash is not as big as the ones that I have at home? Those two are the same variety. I have a tetra squash at home there too, in a bucket. And that's a, one of them is in a bucket too. They're growing much faster than I also think it's because they're getting more sun and maybe the soil has a bit more nutrients in the soil here. I don't know, but it's interesting to see the difference. That tomato there is doing good, that red zinnia there, it's looking good. I probably have to cut it to encourage more branching too. I'll do that later. There's a tomatillo in there, they volunteer, they put a pole in there, let that grow. Because there's another one there, and hopefully they will pollinate and produce tons of fruit again this year. The pepper bed here, not looking as good. A lot more soil for pepper this year for me. Last couple of years I did pretty good, but now, at least there was a start from seed are kind of looking a little peony we'll see how they would do on the other hand the corn is looking really nice those zinnias here are looking really good too i should like that i make that little line there but the, this is supposed to be a three sister brand i did end up ordering another arch so I have this arch here i have another one there to have some of the squash that i'm gonna grow there climb over if it needs to the beans have sprouted and they're looking all nice around too there's a little kill here Putting that there. Last year I planted the beans in the corn at the same time and the beans kind of struggled the core. It just, you know, vined up too fast and kind of took it down. This year we planted the corn first, then it did. We waited until it was about two inches tall and then we sold the beans. So the corn seems to be growing in a good height for the beans yet. They are just starting to send their true leaves now and no tendrils yet. So I think we're going to be okay this year. I hope so. The kale is starting to take off really fast. Eggplants, okay. The eggplant here in the pot's not doing very well. I don't really know why. But let's wait a little bit more and see if it takes off. Tomatoes here are all doing good. I came here and I pruned everything. The ones in cages I didn't because I determined it, but it's looking nice. Those guys on this side are starting to get really tall. As you can see there, growing quite fast too. The ones in my backyard are taller than them. But they're still looking really good here and i have one that already has a tomato let me find it oh here there it is so this is the black beauty the same one that's producing lots of blooms in my yard and this guy it's looking really big already which is cool i don't know if the plant is too stressed in the beginning that's why i said fruit so early i don't know but i'm happy to have that one to eat first this one is the black strawberry it looks really nice with all of the stripes over here i have tasted this before i'm very excited to taste it and this one here it's the ukrainian tomato that are planted and started to produce some fruits as well this was a mix so i don't know which color that will be but i have to find out and that will be mostly 
it for here. I can't wait to see those vines start growing back there. Those beans are hopefully going to start climbing soon. The cucumber hopefully start climbing soon too. I have to find some time this week to finish cutting the rest of that peach tree over there. And hopefully by next week we're going to have the second arch up too because I want to make sure the squash and the watermelon, the mini watermelon that I have there have space to grow. They're going to start struggling in the little pot for this one, so they need to be transplanted. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope your gardens are also looking great and starting to bloom. I'd love to know how they're doing in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or comments or anything, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section down below too. I try to answer as much questions as I can. Thank you so much again. I hope you're have a great weekend and I'll see you next time.